When you think of a desert, you might think of camels, sand dunes, and wandering for 40 years. But the world's largest desert is actually Antarctica. But how can that be? How can Antarctica be a desert if it has so much snow? But that's not exactly true. It doesn't really snow that much in Antarctica. It has a similar average annual snowfall as Seattle, a city not exactly known for its snow. But when it does snow in Antarctica, it almost never melts. The temperature is so cold that the air cannot hold much moisture. Most places in the world receive warmer or colder air from other parts of the world to regulate the climate. Arctic outflows engulf North America each winter. And warm air from the Gulf Stream makes the climate of Europe much warmer than it would be otherwise. Why doesn't any warm, moist air come to Antarctica? Wind is essentially air moving from areas of high pressure, cold air, to areas of low pressure, warm air. Since areas near the equator receive the most sunlight and are hence warmer, areas like Antarctica receive less and are cooler. This means that the tendency of air movement is from the poles to the equator, meaning there is a greater chance that cold, dry air is blowing away from Antarctica, outwards, than warm, moist air is blowing inwards. What makes this effect even stronger is the elevation of Antarctica, which has the highest average elevation of all the continents. The cold wind becomes even stronger due to its dramatic descent from great heights to sea level, making it almost impossible for warm, moist air to enter the continent. These winds are called catabatic winds. And until next time, thanks for watching.